In this video, we're going to look at the workflow to create animations in Flux. Sometimes it may be useful to create your own content in Unity, especially when it comes to camera animation. With Flux 2.0, we try to make it as easy as possible for you to create animations inside Unity. In this example, we want to have the camera rotate around the statue to show it off. To do so, first we need to create a sequence. Then we drag to it the camera we want to animate and add a play animation track. When you look at the inspector, you'll see there's two warnings. There's no animation controller in the track and there's no animation in the event. First, let's create a controller. You can simply drag an existing one there, but for now let's just click the Create button. Notice that when you create the controller this way, we automatically tell it to use the base layer. Let's do the same in the event and click the button to create the animation. One thing you'll notice is that if you create an animation inside Flux, we use the controller to start on. It is our opinion that custom created animations are very tied to the controller, so it makes sense to just put them inside. It also makes the project far cleaner and avoids asking the user where he wants to store it. Now we can just start using the animation window to edit our animation. However, editing animations like this is not that intuitive. To fix this, we added a set of animation track tools. Let's talk about the first two. The first is Sync with Animation Window. This will make scrubbing in the animation window and in Flux be synchronized. The second is Show Transform Path. This allows you to see what the animation is doing and how changes in a specific keyframe affect the path the animation is taking. Now we can just start editing our animation. First, I set the start and the end point. Next, set up the in-between points to make sure that the camera doesn't go through the model. We now have the animation created, but as you can see, the animation curve looks rough in some areas. To fix this, we need to go to the keyframes and start adjusting their tangents to make sure the movement is smooth. This is where the show transform path makes such a difference, because as you're tweaking the tangents, you can see how they're affecting the path before and after that keyframe. Now we have an animation that is super smooth. We still haven't talked about the last two animation track tools. These two are both tied to the position transform curves and only work when the show transform path is on. The first is show keyframes. When you toggle it, you'll have the transform handle at each keyframe. It allows you to change the keyframes without having to go to that spot in the animation window. You can tweak these handles and the animation will be updated for you while the path shows exactly what's happening. And of course, this all works with undo. You can also switch between local and global space, just like regular transform handles, and it works if you activate the rotation tool too. The last tool is show keyframe times. It allows you to see in the path where it will be at a specific keyframe. This is especially useful if you have to match some other element with a specific point of the animation. There's one last thing I want to mention the controls animation toggle in the event. Let's first uncheck it. When unchecked, if you resize an event, Flux doesn't care about it. Basically, you're just saying, I have a 10 second animation, but I only want to play part of it. This is the default mode when you're using FPX animations, like in the previous video. However, when you're authoring animations with Flux, that's not usually the behavior you want. You want to just be able to create an animation, and then if for some reason you want to make it go slower or faster, you just want to resize the event. You don't want to have to deal with adjusting all the keyframes in the animation, which at the moment is especially painful inside Unity. So if you toggle on Controls Animation, now when you resize the event, it will handle the resizing of the animation for you. And the best thing is that it adjusts the tangents of the keyframes too. 
in order to guarantee that you always have the same animation, just faster or slower. Let's see the final result in action. And of course, as mentioned in the other video, you can also play it backwards.